Welcome back. In this video, we'll compare the intramuscular and intravenous injections. Intravenous injections goes directly into the veins. It enters the circulatory system instantaneously. Intramuscular injections, on the other hand, goes into the muscles. And this would have a slow absorption. The muscles are, of course, highly vascular, and these vessels will slowly take the medications into the system. This means that for the intravenous medications, the effect will be almost instantaneous. These are better for acute cases and severe conditions, like trauma cases, anesthesia medications, and antipsychotics. On the other hand, intramuscular medications are faster than the oral route, but they are slower than IV route. The intravenous medications require some skill as you need to inject the medication directly into the vein, so you need to have some skill in locating the veins. Intramuscular medications are easier to administer. The common risk factors and complications for intravenous medications look out for infections. If you didn't clean the skin very well, you might introduce the bacteria into the intravascular system and directly into the patient's body. Of course, phlebitis, which means inflammation of the peripheral veins where you inserted the medications. Of course, some medications can cause irritation and inflammation of the vessels. So depending on the medication, you might choose a wider vein or a smaller vein. And for seriously inflammatory and irritant medications, like chemotherapy, high dosage of potassium or noradrenaline, we might actually insert it directly into the vena cava. And we call this a central line. And because you are accessing the vascular system directly, there is a risk of introducing an air bubble into the vascular system, and this causes air embolism. On the other hand, intramuscular medications can cause muscle damage, especially with repeated injections in the same muscle, which changes the shape or the contour of the muscle, and also causes some weakness and chronic muscle pain. There is also a risk of bleeding or hitting a nerve. 